Hi, welcome back to our channel. This is a 3D printed folding stand which you can use to help cool your notebook by increasing the distance from the base to the table. Next, we will make the design in Design Spark Mechanical. This is how the design will look like, but of course we will start from scratch. So file, new, design. We will draw at the Y and Z axis, so I will click this one first, the 3D mode, or you can press D on your keyboard. And then I will click this one, the arrow for the X axis, and then click this one, the sketch mode. So now we are working on the Z and Y axis. I will press V, so I will have this view now. Okay, so let's start by making the uh, side view design. In this case, I will start with rectangle. So I will click here, and then we'll move to the left by 25 millimeters and the height is six millimeters okay now i will make another rectangle here and it will be seven by six this will be where we place the hinge mechanism and then for the right portion or the uh, right leaf we will click here and then make 20 millimeters by six millimeters okay and then after that i will make a circle in this uh, center rectangle but to do that we will click this one first the line okay I will zoom a little and then we will make 3.5 millimeters so we will have a, a center point for the circle here and then I will click this one the circle and and make a six millimeters circle like this okay and then after that, I will also make another circle inside. It will be 3.6, which will be the uh, inner diameter for the cylinder. And then another circle, 2.8. It will be the pin for the hinge. Anyway, if you uh, check here in detail, so for the pin to the cylinder, there's a gap, this one. and for this design I'm using 0.4 okay but anyway it will depends on your printer and your slicer accuracy I tried in my printer and my slicer setting 0.3 it doesn't work 0.2 even more it it stucks everywhere so uh, in my experience for my printer and my uh, slicer setting it's 0.4 but you can try 0.3 and so on okay now let's continue with this uh, design after this i will add lines here on the left rectangle and on the right rectangle so the line is to make uh, this shape so we are not wasting too many material <laughs> and also to make the notebook stand more slim so it will fold easily if you want to put inside a bag and so on Okay, and also here we'll have this line also okay I just press escape and then after this we will pull or extrude the shape that we need so to do that I will click this one the 3d mode okay so we have this set of surfaces and we can continue by clicking okay wait let me click this one select okay and then click the surface that we want to extrude this one and then press control on your keyboard and then this one and this one for the cylinder and this one for the pin and then after that I will click pull and we'll move to the side by 25 millimeters it will be close to the size of the double tape the double tape itself is 24 millimeters that I'm using anyway you can use your own uh, measurement if you want okay it will looks like this and let me hide the surface that we don't need okay and also curve okay I will click here and then press V so I will have this view okay and then press this one the sketch mode and we will cut this cylinder and pin to become three parts it will be two parts for the um, outer knuckle and one for the inner knuckle so we will have three segments of knuckle to do that 
I will draw a rectangle here so we will use this one I will start from here so by total it's 25 but we will make a 7.6 by 7 millimeters so 7 and 7.6 like this and then I will make another rectangle here which will be 0 0.4 by 7 so 0 0.4 is the uh, allowance or the gap between the parts that is actually working in my current printer if you have a more detail and precise printer maybe you can use 0 0.3 or 0 0.2 but to me now is 0 0.4 which also same with the nozzle diameter okay and then we will draw the same thing from this one so it's seven millimeters wide and 7.6 okay and then another one we can start from here for the gap 0 0.4 by 7 so this one is 0 0.4 done I just click select and this is how it looks like and I click this one the 3d mode and now we are ready to cut the cylinder and the pin so I will click here and then press control and click here so we have these two uh, plane for cutting the cylinder and pin and then click pull and to make sure click this one cut and drag away so it will looks like this so we have the left hand or leaf the right hand or leaf and also this cylinder and pins and then we will combine each cylinder to the corresponding leaf so to do that first I will hide this surface we don't need it anymore and for this design let's make the outer knuckle goes to the left leaf okay so to do that I will first click select to yeah escape from the pull mode and then I will click here and then click project so now we will project this shape to the left leaf and also the right leaf and then press enter so now we have this line that you can see here a line that is the projection of this uh, cylinder okay and we will also do with this one so click here and it's still in the project uh, tool uh, mode so we just need to press enter now okay and then I will click select to escape from the project mode and this is how it looks like and now we will pull this left leaf to the cylinder to make a knuckle so I will click here and then press this one or click this one pull and then press U on the keyboard or you can also click this one up to okay and then click this cylinder so now it becomes like this same thing for this one click here and then press U or click this one up to and then click here so now we have these two knuckle is connected to the left leaf and now next we will connect this center knuckle to the right leaf but we cannot do that directly by using this uh, surface because the width or the white is different if we force it then it will becomes like this so as you can see it touch with the outer knuckle it will not move if you print it later so press ctrl c okay uh, we will also do the similar thing so i'll just press select and then click here and then click this one project so now we can press enter and we have the projection of the cylinder to the right leaf and now for this one I click here and then click pull and then click this one up to and then uh, sorry click this one up to and then click this circle so now we have this and now we need to pull or extrude the pins because we already cut it into three pieces actually you can also hide it earlier but it's okay now we will click at this surface which is the outer surface of the pin and we will simplify this surface first so I will press F and it will become like this and then click this one pull okay and then click this one add 
and then rotate here and then press U or click this one up to and click here so now we have the pin connected I just press select connected from left to right so let me click here and let's see the cross-sectional view like this okay so if we check for this one the distance between the knuckles is 0.4 and also the cylinder to the pin is also 0.4 okay home and now we have this but still the pin is not uh, touching or not connected to the left leaf or left arm so to make it as one object we can click here sorry I press escape and click select and click here okay uh, we will combine so to do that press this one or click this one pull and then we will reduce the diameter or the radius so in this case 1.8 and I just input one so it will uh, combine or it will reduce and then uh, like melting into one object and then also this one similar method but this one I will just pull manually so it will goes like this okay combined as a connected object now we have this uh, basic shape for the notebook stand but of course we will add some small adjustment so uh, if we move the right leaf so let me click move and then we'll move the center to this one to the center of this uh, pin okay if you rotate like this it will only goes to this position okay it will stuck because of this uh, part so in order to make this stand fold more than 90 degrees then we will need to cut some area so let me cut this one first I will just click here and then press F to simplify the shape okay and again still have this line uh, okay now and I click here and then move by two millimeters okay and then also for this part I will click here and press F again click here press F again press F so it's now more simple and I will click here press control click here and move by two millimeters okay so now we have this shape and later on we will add more details so for the base okay let me simplify this one first click here and then press F click again press F okay here also okay done for the base it's better to add some chamfer here so because this will be the base that we will print on the printer um, if we want to avoid the base melting together then it's better to add chamfer here so I will click this one also press control to click all the lines that we want to uh, pull chamfer okay click pull and then I will add chamfer this one 0 0.4 should be enough okay so as we can see it has some distance okay now I will also add some round at the corners of the hinge to avoid some problem with the bulging of the printer so sometimes on the corner there's a bulge so we don't want that it will stuck the movement of the hinge so I will click here with okay here and then click here after pressing control of course and then we will add a rounded shape 0 0.4 okay and also for the uh, this one and this one also 0 0.4 okay and also the one that inside the cylinder so I will hide this shape first okay we will also make a rounded edge for this one so it's 0 0.4 should be enough yes 
done and maybe you can add some finishing touch so I will add some rounded corner here so okay two millimeters okay and then maybe also at this corners by 0 0.4 millimeters okay done now we'll click this one that I'm not using anymore so I will delete also this surface and this surface done let's take a look at the cross-sectional view of the hinge so wait a moment let me click at this axis and then press K okay looks as expected and then after this you can export this object as a single STL so you don't need to export one by one because we will print the hinge as one STL and then for the orientation this will be the base and of course this will be the top for the slicer setting you might want to reduce the speed a little to avoid bulging corners and also maybe you need to add more fan speed and reduce the temperature a little bit to avoid melting between the pin and the cylinder and then for this hinge you might want to wait until the object is cooled down before you can move the hinge otherwise it will get stuck and then even it will broke okay this is the 3d printing process with the hinges being made as print in place part Wait for it to cool down before you can move the hinges. After that, apply double-sided tape. In this video, I'm using 24mm wide VHP automotive tape. Then attach them to the base of your notebook. You can flip the leaves out to function as stand. And if you want to carry the notebook, just push them back until flat. I will post the STL and Design Spark mechanical files on Cals 3D. You can find the link in the video description later. And if you like this content, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and see you again in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.